Alright, this video I'd like to say that Kung Fu and Karate is not a uniform. This was, this video is motivated by some caption that I saw on YouTube where somebody made a video with um, two Caucasian men um, facing each other and then the title of the video was Kung Fu versus Karate. Um, and I feel that that video is very false. It's falsifying things and what I mean that Kung Fu and Karate is not a uniform, so it's not something that you just can just take, put on and take off. Um, it's not like just being a police officer that, hey, you know, today I want to be a police officer, so I'll put on the uniform. No, like Kung Fu to me represents the Chinese people and the culture. So it's who you are. So if you're Chinese and you practice the martial arts, then you are representing the Chinese martial arts. Um, if you're Japanese and you are practicing the martial arts, then you're representing the Japanese martial arts. And when you say karate, then you're signifying the Japanese martial arts. When you're saying kung fu, then you're signifying the Chinese martial arts. Um, people that are, are from that country, they can't just eliminate the history and just um, pretend as if um, they didn't originate from there. Um, so a Chinese person can't just go around denying who he is because it says it all over his skin, his the way he looks, his facial features. Um, it could even be in his accent. Um, it's and it's gonna even be in his 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 brain chemistry and in his blood. Um, so just like an African person can't deny the fact that he's African, a Chinese person can't deny the fact that he's Chinese, um, that's how the martial arts is to me. And when people just put on uniforms and they try to say that, hey, you know, this is Kung Fu, no. You know, they just put on uniforms and say, oh, this is karate, no. That's not how it works. That's like a, a white person painting their face black and saying that they're black, no. Um, they're not black just because you painted your face black doesn't make you black and uh, you know somebody's racial background and his ethnicity and where he's from is not something that you could change um, you can't change where you're born and whom you were born to and that's a fact of history that cannot be changed so I can't change the fact that you know, my parents are from China. I can't change that. Um, no matter if I like it or don't like it, it's not up to me. It's just something I, I need to accept, and that's a part of who I am. And um, I think that Caucasians have a hard time understanding that. You know, you can't just go into a culture, put on a gi, and then just be like, okay, this is karate. Or just put on a kung fu uniform and say, oh, this is kung fu. It doesn't work that way, you know. You don't have that luxury. Um, this is part of the people and who they are, for the good and the bad. No matter what, they're gonna have to, they're gonna have to accept both, and live a you know the best according to their values in which to represent their people and their culture to the best of their ability. But somebody that is not a part of that culture, like a Caucasian person going in there and trying to reap the benefits of the Chinese culture but then denying the parts that um, are a challenge, like discrimination and racism, they deny that aspect. They don't have to deal with that. They don't need to worry about going around and then um, people calling them ching chong or um, slanting their eyes and laughing at them, making fun of them. They don't gotta worry about going for a job interview and being discriminated against. They don't gotta be worried about being discriminated based on their height um, because they're too short. Um, they don't got to be worried, worried about being discriminated because of their accent um, or how they look or how their parents look. Um, they don't have to be discriminated or, or go against any of the struggles that Chinese people ha have to go through. But then yet they want to reap the benefits of, of what that culture is known for, which is the martial arts. And they just want to take that and, and wear the uniform and act as if they are representing the Chinese people in this culture. No, they are not. You know, that's not that's not how it is. 
you know, if you're black and you're Chinese, it comes with the good and the bad. You know, you're going to be discriminated against, you're going to suffer racism, but at the same time, there's beauty to your culture, and you should represent that and, um, and um, appreciate that because um, it balances it out. But now you have, you know, there's Caucasian people out there, they have this privilege of being white, um, but yet they don't want to, they don't want to go through the struggles that minorities go through, but they want to take what they can from that culture um, and misrepresent it, profit off of it. And that to me is wrong. Um, that video in itself um, disturbs me, it upsets me that it's even out there. And I hope that people can open their eyes to see what's going on. It's not right, you know. Um, I see it as disrespectful as a white person painting their face black and, and you know, like what they do for blackface. I see it disrespectful that um, Caucasian people are going to put on these uniforms and act as if, like, they're representing this culture and the people. Um, that's not right. Only if you have the permission of... Um, the people of that culture to represent it properly, um, then it's okay. But if there's no permission and you're falsifying truth, uh, you're, you're claiming yourself to be a Sifu, a martial arts, a Chinese martial arts master, or a Japanese martial arts master, or any martial arts master from the East, that's not right. You know, don't say that you're a master of Kung Fu or a master of karate. Um, you could wear your own outfits, um, claim your own labels, use the English language, your language, but don't take labels and titles and languages of the East when you don't have the right to do that. Nobody gave you that permission. You're not a part of that culture, and um, you're misrepresenting, and you're... You're destroying the purity and the essence of that expression, you know, and I feel that that's wrong.